a male child brought to the casualty following an attack of generalized convulsions child was found to have delayed milestones and mental retardation a tendency for hypopigmentation of skin associated with eczema and mousy odor of body and urine was observed the child look was dull and blank so a child was brought to the casualty with complaints of convulsions there is a developmental delay and mental retardation hypopigmentation of skin with eczema and rashes also they complain the parents complain of mousy odor of body and urine the lab investigation showed blood phenylalanine 20 mg per dl normally it is less than 1 mg per dl ferric chloride test it is positive it gives blue green color it's a transient blue green color so it is positive and also guthrie's test is positive so what is your diagnosis it is a clear cut case of phenyl ketonuria okay classical phenyl ketonuria the metabolic disorder in this case is phenyl ketonuria so what is the enzyme defect it's a clear cut case of inborn error of metabolism so some enzyme should be defective the first and foremost enzyme involved in the conversion of phenylalanine to tyrosine is pah the monooxygenase that is phenylalanine hydroxylase this enzyme is defect in this case whenever pah is defective it is called as classical phenyl ketonuria okay it is an autosomal recessive disorder here the phenylalanine cannot be converted to tyrosine since the enzyme is deficient it can go into a minor pathway by which it can produce a phenyl pyruvate from phenyl pyruvate it can form phenyl acetate lactate and phenyl acetyl glutamate they are all together called as phenyl ketones this phenyl ketones are increased in blood which is then excreted in the urine this is the reason for mousy odor of the sweat and urine okay so the phenyl alanine gets accumulated which in turn enters into the minor pathway and produces phenyl ketones this phenyl ketones are excreted through sweat and urine causing mousy odor this is the biochemical basis behind phenyl ketonuria there are various types of phenyl ketonuria in that the classical one is due to phenyl alanine hydroxylase when dihydrobiopterin reductase is deficient otherwise it is synthesized but functionally inactive it leads to type 2 and 3 defect dihydrobiopterin synthase the enzyme is defective it leads to type 4 and 5 phenyl ketonuria whenever the phenyl alanine is not converted to tyrosine the biologically important compounds okay the biologically important compounds from tyrosine are not synthesized so for that you should know what are the important products synthesized from tyrosine like your catecholamines melanin and thyroid hormones are not synthesized since phenylalanine cannot be converted to tyrosine one more thing this dihydropyrin reductase synthase all points to only one thing tetrahydrobiopterin this tetrahydrobiopterin is also required in the reactions of dopamine and serotonin so whenever this compound is not available the metabolism of dopamine and serotonin synthesis is also not taking place so it leads to agitations tremors 
hyper activity of the child since melanin is not synthesized it leads to hypopigmentation and also skin rashes so since tyrosine is not producing all these compounds it leads to the signs and symptoms of a phenylketonuria so you know very well phenylalanine is converted to tyrosine using phenylalanine hydroxylase since this enzyme is absent we are not going to get tyrosine the signs and symptoms are mental retardation neurological manifestations like agitations hyperactivity tremors etc convulsions also skin rashes hypopigmentation due to reduced melanin synthesis from tyrosine and at last psychosis okay this phenyl ketones accumulated phenylalanine enters the alternate pathway alternate pathway leads to increased production of phenyl ketones which is the reason for mousy odor okay with this i have explained about the case scenario what about the lab diagnosis in lab diagnosis we should check blood phenylalanine tandem mass spectrometry guthrie's test ferric chloride test and dna probes okay here the blood phenylalanine in this case is 20 mg per deciliter i have said normally it is less than 1 mg per deciliter that means the serum level of phenylalanine is increased one more thing we can do a screening test that is the ferric chloride test and another test is guthrie's test tandem mass spectrometry and dna probes we can analyze the defect in the enzyme so this is the guthrie's card 